learning from AM Solar from me and the puppy. Um, so we we're here to get the final fixes done today. Uh, last visit, we installed a positive uh, wire which goes all the way down and around. I'll show you where it hooks up. This is Mitch. Hey. Mitch is gonna be uh, helping to install this unit here, uh, battery combiner by Victron Energy. That's what it looks like. And <clears throat> the wire is this one here, this positive, ow, just kidding. Uh, this, <laughs> this one that comes up through the, um, through the uh, frame. And we're just gonna hook it up simply with this. And from now on, whenever the engine is running, I will be receiving some kind of a charge, uh, a supplemental charge to charge the battery. If I was not abundantly clear, there's a positive and a negative. The positive, uh, again, goes to this uh, unit here. Uh, the negative goes to the chassis. What we have on the bottom side, if you can see it, there are uh, four, four posts, uh, well, two posts and two, two terminals, I guess. That, is that the correct wording? That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. Anyway, so this thing is like basically the middleman, the intermediary for power, and also will provide a uh, little boost uh, to jump start it if uh, the starting batteries get a little bit too low, just press a button, and uh, it's, this is a really easy install. Yeah, generally speaking, not too bad. Uh, sometimes we have to route wires through crazy little channels. Uh, thankfully, you're allowing me to put the switch over here, so it's gonna be fairly easy. Uh, the only part that was a little challenging was running the uh, two odd cable up to the engine and hooking up to the alternator, uh, or actually the battery terminal, yeah. essentially bypassing to the alternator. Mm -hmm. So the alternator current will feed, uh, skip right over that battery, and then charge this battery as well once it's done charging the engine battery when driving. So essentially four things to screw in, or bolt in, that's it. Not too hard. Here we are uh, midway through, I should say towards the final steps. Um, Mitch uh, kind of rewired some things. Me and Musso, Musso used some uh, electrical wiring from Home Depot um, and it wasn't the proper RV style wiring. So he, he rewired from the inverter uh, to the battery. Uh, these new cables here and here just to make it nice and professional looking. <laughs> um, but also, you know, as a precaution. Here is a finished product. I know I said we were going to do kind of a step by step, but we like we did something we thought we were going like, to done and then but we ended up adding a few things. So uh, Mitch is going to run us through real quick and say what we did and, and how this is powered. Hey there. <laughs> so basically we did a few things. Uh, the first one was we were going to basically get an alternator charge using this relay here. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, but in addition to that, we wanted the battery boost function. So this uh, relay allows you to boost the engine from the house battery. So you can start the engine if the engine battery is dead. Uh, so I put this little button in over here so that he's able to do that. And because the alternator charge is high enough, uh, we want to be able to disconnect it so that we don't overcharge the house battery. So this is a switch to depower that relay when driving on long drives. Um, and then other than that, we just got, went ahead and put in a uh, breaker to protect his inverter and upgraded his inverter wires to a little bit higher gauge. I also put in a little box to protect his AC wiring just to kind of get it up to code. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. We also strapped down the battery, put in some anchors to keep it from sliding around. And uh, I think Jax is ready to go. I, I, not only am I ready to go, I will be from this point forward, full energy capacity as long as I drive about two hours on average a day. Something yeah. like that? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Sweet. Get you about 60 amps in a day or more. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> that, that, that's great. So yeah, um, thank you again, guys at AM Solar. This is a way more awesome uh, setup than I originally installed because I'm not a pro. These guys are the pros. And uh, definitely check out their site if you need any uh, solar or battery charging stuff. And if you're in the neighborhood, swing by. Not only are these guys knowledgeable, but they're super awesome and super nice. So... Thank you very we'll much. See, yeah. Happy to help. Yeah, we'll see you next time, hopefully without problems. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, time has come. Uh, all the work has uh, been completed and i um, ready to power this thing up. I uh, just want to thank you again for all the hard work and uh, I will see you guys next time. My pleasure, yeah. Look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs> all right, man. See ya. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Mitch. Later. All right, let's fire this thing up and see how she... Uh, how she sounds here. Oh, by the way, I got a uh, eject button. So it doesn't actually work yet because we're trying to find the fuse. So 
Anyways. All right. Seems like everything is working. That is the on off switch. It is currently on. That's off, on. It takes a minute for the, uh, for the alternator to kick in. There it goes. And then it jumps up the voltages, as you can see there. Should put up to like 14.2. Sick. It's working. <laughs> yes. Lift off. and I just want to show you guys something so this is the current voltage and the switch is turned on it's right there just gonna turn it off now watch it drops so that means that the current voltage right now is about 13 and 13 is in the good range um, so it's working after like two and a half hours it went from roughly 50 percent to about mm, around maybe 70 percent or 75 percent some uh, you know uh, something about there so good to know it does work it's working as expected couldn't be happier because <laughs> you know winter time cloudy days rainy days at night time that means i will get a charge from the engine, which is very, very exciting. Because that means I can use all my electricity and I can use my hot water heater for my tea every day. I can cook oatmeal. I can like do a bunch of stuff that I was kind of limited to before. So this is very, very helpful. So super stoked about that. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna take off tomorrow. Alaska is what I'm thinking. I just need to double check. Uh, weather reports and stuff like that uh, and I might have a few more errands to do tomorrow we might have a shipment coming in uh, from a walk on water uh, some t-shirts and hats and stuff like that not sure if they were able to get it out in the mail or not so uh, yeah just have to uh, see what's going on tomorrow um, have a good day evening morning whatever you're watching this and I will see you guys uh, manana